Steve, remember when we went to IBC and Sony called us over to kind of check out their new camera, the yeah. FS5? Well, here it is. And now we got some great bits for it. Yeah, I mean, when we saw it, we were like, okay, this is a really cool camera. It's nice and small and compact. It is so light. It's almost too light. Mm -hmm. But one of the things we'll start off with, we did basically one, two, three, four things here. Let's start with the hand grip. Great hand grip. You gotta use it. I mean, it's got all the camera control in it. Well, it's removable from the camera body, which is kind of cool, unlike the FS7. And it's, it leaves it open to where you need what we make, a rosette that screws to the inside, so then you can attach it via rosette to our handle. And what's cool is now you got this 360 degree movement, which you don't have with the FS7, you're locked in. And really with an Aton style grip like this, you gotta find that right angle. Otherwise it's really stressful because it's, it's pushing on your thumb here. It'll relieve that fatigue that you get in your wrist unless you can dial it in. And we've also added this, which is really nice. You know, you have really quick adjustment and turning capability. So that's really awesome in a hand grip. Right. Let's go to the top now. Other people make top plates, but it's just adding it's pointless. holes. It's kind of pointless. Ours actually gives you this rod lock, which is important because that rod lock supports our mini access, which can either support their monitor with our Z Finder on it or our Gradical. And you could use other arms if you own one already. You know, you don't necessarily have to use the axis. It's any EVF type mount. The camera does come with this rod stud that you can mount either in the front here or in the back on both sides, actually. Mm -hmm. You can mount the Z Finder directly to that. There, here's a couple drawbacks to that. One is that it's kind of flimsy because it's all plastic. The other is that it's a little too close to you and you really can't get a perfectly balanced rig that it way. It would be for a tripod or something like that. Yeah, well, for a tripod it's fine. But I mean, we have not tested the breakage factor of that yet and it's not our part. It's the part that comes with the camera. That's why we made the top plate with the rod lock so that you can use an axis and then it's just rock solid. Now let's talk about the Z Finder. This is what really makes this a shoulder rig. Well, this camera, unlike the FS7, doesn't even come with a loop. So you need something on there, and this is it. We have now our original Z Finder with a different optic in it, so it's got an adjustable diopter, which is great. Some people are going to say, why can't I use my Z yeah. Finder I have? Well, why can't they? Well, because it's either a 3X or a 2.5X, and that magnification will not work with this size screen. And that's, and that's because size it's because the screen size is a certain width. You know, when Correct. we were looking at the back of a DSLR, they were smaller. Yeah. Now the screen is bigger, and we wanted to do it without having to make it as long as the FS7 one. This is quite a bit shorter. Quite a bit shorter. And it still retains the flip-up capability. You can also remove this totally. So this Z Finder can pop off, and you have like a little shroud there so mm -hmm. that it's, sh you know, shaded from the sun. Well, the other thing that we need to talk about is that you actually locked up this hinge, which oh, yeah. is really great because it's one thing to put a Z Finder or some sort of a, uh, but the thing tips this way and this well, way. Well, if I use one of my points of contact and pushed against here, the, the thing would swing away unless it's all locked up. That's right why into you the see lens. This. Correct, yeah. Or, yeah. or it would tip up, you know, either Right, way. so you've locked up this monitor in all directions and attached a Z Finder. Correct, solid. All right, so I mean, this is, you have a full shoulder rig now with a base plate, hand grip, Z Finder, and I'm gonna call it an EVF because it really is an EVF. You can put a Gradical on as well. You can do that too. With very few parts, including the VCT base plate, you have a total shoulder rig for the FS5 camera. Could wear it all day.